Hi, this is JR, the TechSpat OTG. Today I want to talk a little bit about the one thing that I don't like about the Philippines. Mostly I like the Philippines a lot. It's got a lot going for it. But there are a few things that annoy me and there's one thing that annoys me a, a whole lot. And that's what I want to talk about today. The first thing is that I like the weather. I like the ocean. I like the beautiful girls here. I like everything about it. The people are friendly. Um, the food's good. And the place that we live in is absolutely beautiful. I've got mountains in the background. I've got big fields with little animals running around in them. It's pretty great. But the one thing that I don't like is the language. Of course, anybody that's been to the Philippines knows that the people in the Philippines speak English, especially in the urban areas. The uh, social language or the language people speak um, at home and with their friends and things is usually uh, Tagalog or the formal version they call Filipino. Filipino is just a version of Tagalog that has a few more borrowed words in it. It's a little different. But pretty much if you speak Filipino, you speak Tagalog, it's the same thing. No problem. Why would the language be such an irritating thing? First, let's get a little history on languages in the Philippines. Philippines, they speak over 170 different languages, different dialects, different Creoles. It's uh, pretty amazing that there's that many but there are a lot. In the area that we're in, Luzon, Tagalog is the um, probably the most spoken of the local languages, and English would be uh, the second language. And they're both official languages. Spanish was spoken a lot before the 1900s because Philippines was a Spanish colony for hundreds of years, and that language uh, was pretty common. In the late 1800s, early 1900s, there was a Spanish-American War, and the U.S. pretty much got Philippines as one of the spoils of war. In the Philippines, they got English as one of the spoils of war. And people did start uh, speaking English at that time. In, uh, I think it was like mid-1930s or something like that, um, English was made an official language here. So Tagalog and English were the two official languages. Right now, about 25 million people speak Tagalog. About um, 18 and a half or 19 million speak Cebuano, which is another uh, language here on the islands. And about 14 million speak English or a little English. So what is the problem? And why do I not like the language? Well, I don't like it because they mix it up. You uh, have people that speak Tagalog and they mix English with it. You have um, publications that do that. You have uh, video productions that do that. You have movies that do that. Uh, so you see something you're interested in, maybe an article on YouTube, and you start to watch it. And what do you get? You get about a third of the way in it and they start speaking Tagalog instead of English. They don't tell you they're going to do that, but they do that. It's really annoying, and you can't follow things you're interested in. There's a lot of things that I'm interested in, in politics and, and um, about the infrastructure here, things like that. And I really uh, would like to be able to read a lot of articles about it, and I can't do it. The one thing that was nice about living in Vietnam is everything was in Vietnamese, and you either learn Vietnamese or you were left out. But here, they kind of trick you and tempt you into reading an article, and then they spring Tagalog on you. That's not good, and it's frustrating. It's really frustrating. In the world, about 1.45 billion people speak English. In a lot of countries, in, of course, UK, the United States, Canada, uh, Australia, a lot of countries speak English. Also, in the world, 115 or so billion people speak Mandarin Chinese. Those are the two biggest languages there are in the world. 
One of the hardest to learn is Mandarin Chinese. You need about 2,000 characters in your vocabulary just to be literate. So it's a difficult language to learn and that's why you don't see it in lots of different countries. English you do. English is much easier to learn. Also, the English were all over the place. The Chinese stayed home. They built a wall around their country. The English went out in boats and went everywhere and taught everybody English. Lots of African countries speak English. So English is, is a, a pretty dominant language in commerce and industry and stuff like that because it's spoken in so many places and it's understood well and it's easy to learn and technical things are easy to speak in English and easy to understand. The technology of the world runs on English. Physics, computer science, all this uh, type of stuff, is it's in English. What I'm saying is that the situation we've got here in Philippines is really tough. We've got a mixed up language and it makes it difficult. And Tagalog is not easy to learn for Westerners. The pronunciations are difficult, the grammar's difficult, and uh, people have a hard time with it. I have known people that have tried to learn it for three or four years and they just, just give up, they can't get it. It's difficult. So do I have an opinion on this? And yeah, I do. My opinion on this is that the opportunities in the world for the Philippines would be a lot broader if they spoke English as their main language and didn't speak Tagalog at all, or the other 160 something or 70 something other languages speak English. Now, people say, oh, well, you know, people want to speak their own language and all that. Look at it this way. The Italians don't use Roman numerals. Sometimes it's time to give up on something and go to something that's more practical, more commercial, easier to learn, and that will do you some good when you're out there in commerce and industry. And I think that's the problem that Philippines has is with the Tagalog, it hurts them in tourism, it hurts them uh, in trade, it hurts them in manufacturing, it hurts them everywhere because the people that want to speak Tagalog and speak Tagalog together lack the understanding that they would have should they be speaking English in their environment, in their work environment, business environment, sales environment, all kinds of things. So my opinion is, hey, in 50 years or 60 years, after you change everything to English, everybody would speak English and be pretty comfortable with it. It wouldn't take that long to put uh, Tagalog behind you. In 50 years, that's uh, maybe five generations or six generations, it'd be pretty much gone. People would be speaking English and everybody that spoke English would understand them. So it becomes very marketable, makes the Philippine people more marketable. And they'll have more opportunities and more chances in the whole world in finance, in technology, in productivity, everything, uh, if they just speak English. And it wouldn't take that many years for that to happen. So anyway, that's my opinion on this thing. Uh, I was driven to it by being frustrated with watching uh, news shows, trying to read articles, things like that here. It's just impossible. You'll start it, it'll be in English, it'll switch to the Galag, it'll go back to English, it's unreadable for an English speaker. <clears throat> That's what motivated me to make this video. I wish the, the Philippine people would think about it a little bit and not be the Roman numeral people. This is really a, a thing that they could change it and it'd be so much better for them. Of course, people are nationalistic. They love their country. They love their traditions and uh, they tend to stick with them. And so probably the decision to switch to 100% English is uh, not gonna happen. But if it did happen, it would really be good for the country. This is JR, the Texpat in the beautiful Philippines, loving every minute of it, saying thanks for watching.